See, it's the Canadian right. skies right. against him. And you can't blame right. New York. I've told you a million times, the New York air is the purest, cleanest air on the planet. No. It's like, it's oh, like, no, wait, wait. It's like walking it, down a stream in New Switzerland. No. Here? Oh, yeah, we're the purest. I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> hey, on Friday, good morning to you. Welcome to another yeah. edition of yeah. The Carton Show. We've got Mr. Cody Decker right there. Oh, yeah. We've got J.J. James Jones right here and the Hall of Famer Tim Hardaway Sr. right here. We have a great show for you. It's going to be lots of fun. And we start show off with Friday morning headlines. Yes, the beard is back. But for how long? As the story goes, Timmy told us this all week long. He was going to opt into that one-year deal for uh, $35.5 million, but not to stay there which we got to try to figure that part out. Right, right. So he opts in, one-year deal, which tells you this, guys. The Sixers did not offer him a three- or four-year deal at the level of money he, I guess, wanted. Yeah. But bigger than that, nobody Nails. else in the NBA right. made him the type of offer he wanted. So he's guaranteed $35.6 million this year. But where is he going to play? Exactly. Not Philadelphia. Where? I don't know. Where? Where? Everybody wants to know where. I've got the answers a little bit later on, but let, let these guys take some guesses. Go ahead. <laughs> you get the answers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the five most likely destinations, but well, I, it's a little bit later in the And show. you know, and, and none of those five make sense, you know, and, and I tell you that. <laughs> uh, I think the best possible choice for him is with the 76ers, but, you know, that was a, a, a big blow, to, I think, to everybody when he said that he, uh, he going to opt in and he wants out. You know, and but I think he says he wants out. Yeah, I guess he wants he wants mm. out. I've not heard him say it, but that's, but it, that's uh, the story that's out that's there. Story that's out there. And another thing is, I think that it would be good for him. I mean, for the 76ers, if they can to get some back for him, yeah. to get some young people back, players back for him, uh, because you know. Uh, he, it, it's, it, I think he wants to be the man there, and he it, he wants everything to flow through him. And instead of you know uh, giving it to Embiid or giving it to Harris, and he didn't like the way the free agency went. He wanted he wanted more pieces. And he wanted to be more involved with the free agents acquisitions that they didn't do. He wanted some. He wanted the team to do some more acquisitions, and they they haven't done. Some it. guys. So James, uh, uh, James Harden is a ball dominant player. Yes, he is. He needs the ball in his hands. He wants yes. the ball in his hands. There's no team in the NBA that needs a ball-dominant player right now unless you go to the Washington Wizards. Right. And we know right. he's not going there. Right. You know, so for me, this is the best place for you to play basketball. I for debate, And guys. have an yeah. opportunity to win a championship yeah, with this. the ball in Look, your hand. You guys have all played with guys who just can't be happy, right? Mm -hmm. He seems to be one of those guys now that no place is good enough for him to stay. I mean, he couldn't make it work. I know he got hurt with uh, Durant and Kyrie in Brooklyn. Can't make it work in Philadelphia with the MVP. Some guys just aren't happy guys. But if you break it down from a pure basketball standpoint and nothing else, there is no better place for him no to try to win a One. championship than the Philadelphia 76ers. 100%. It makes no sense. Yeah. Yes. Now, throughout the show, we will discuss you know, we'll try to figure out, you know, two, three, four places where you could make an <laughs> argument that a trade could be had. Right. There will be some teams that are looking to move other high-profile guys uh, starting at 6 o'clock today when a free agency begins. But it just – here's the problem. It makes no sense, and yet – because we're talking about James Harden, yeah. it makes all the sense in the world. Unfortunately, this is his M.O. He is a great basketball player. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. But he's also a guy that can't stay in one place all that long. And that's part of the resume as well. I just don't comprehend why he wants to leave so badly. Right. And yeah. why he wants to leave every team he plays for with it's just, what, two years every single place he goes? Uh, one of the stories that's out there, just to give you a full disclosure, on, I'm not saying it's factual or not, but it is making the rounds right now, are that Houston strippers take singles, oh. Philadelphia strippers oh. take nothing less than fives. And that is out there. Tim and I were talking about it last night. Now, I can't tell you that's accurate, mm -hmm. but I can tell you that's one of the stories that's out there. Well, five and a single is all the same to James Harden, so none of that matters. Uh, so well, right, me too. What do San Antonio strippers take? Uh, they take quarters. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm a baller on a budget, man. I got uh, places to go.